I've got another easy Final Cut Pro 10 effect to show you guys in this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button if you guys like this type of content. I got this idea from a Premiere tutorial that I saw online about a week ago. I thought maybe you guys would want to know how to do it for Final Cut Pro 10. This one is really easy to do, but I'm not too sure what to really call this one. First thing you'll need to do is find a location to film this at. You can pretty much do this anywhere. Just find a road or a street that's not too busy, but just be careful not to film too close to the road. Place your camera on the tripod and keep it there the whole time. No need to move it. Now once you get to the middle of the road, you'll want to act it out as if you got hit by a car. Once you have that filmed, move out of the frame and wait for a car to pass by your shot. You can just keep it rolling if you're looking to get a specific car in the shot. Now that you have both scenes recorded, Load them onto Final Cut Pro 10 so we can start putting it together. Place the clip of the car passing by on your project timeline. Then place the clip of you standing on the road on top of it. Now try to light up the part where you made it seem like you got hit by a car. To make it a little bit easier for yourself, change the opacity of the top clip to about 50% so you can line up the clips better. Now place the draw mask tool on the top clip. Bring up the blade tool by pressing B on your keyboard and slice it right at the same spot on the top clip where the car hits your leg. Now change the opacity back to 100% on both of the top clips. Start placing the key points on the second clip. You can zoom in to make sure your key points are properly placed. The more accurate you are when placing these, the smoother your effect will look. Place a keyframe on position and rotation under the Transform Inspector tab. With the second clip selected, click on the Retiming Options tab and select Hold. This will freeze the top clip. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to go to the next frame. Readjust the subject by pressing the Transform tab, then moving it so that it is better aligned with the car movement. You'll also want to add the draw mask tool to the first clip. But with this one, you don't have to be as precise with the keyframes. Just try to keep them as close to the subject as you can on the side that will be hit by the car. The other side, you don't have to worry as much. Unless there are shadows in your shot. Make sure to get those in as well. Place a keyframe under transforms and control points, and then adjust it in every frame if needed. Now you'll want to add some type of motion blur to your subject on impact. The ones I have are from Ryan Nangle. Make sure to click on the link in the description to get them for free. Add in some type of car crash sound effect, color grade your footage, and you are good to go. And a special thanks to Airtable for sponsoring this video. Airtable is an all-in-one collaboration platform. So with Airtable, you can manage all of your production process all in one place. From pre-production to post-production, you never have to worry about things getting lost now or spending endless amount of time calling through your clips, looking for the right ones to use. It's a platform that all video producers and video creators have all been looking for, but they just don't know it yet. Airtable will provide immediate value to you and your team since you have everything all in one place. And with a mobile app, you can access all your documents and information anywhere in the world. And if you want to try it out for free, make sure to click on my link in the description below. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time. Pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just a go-getter on a car quest. Hey.